everybody, my name is Petra and I'm the current Vice National Representative of ESN Croatia and the formal President of ESN Zagreb. ESN Zagreb, or also Erasmus Student Network Zagreb, is a part of ESN Internationals, which is the largest student organization in Europe. ESN Zagreb has six different teams. First one is the Intercultural Exchange Team, which organizes intercultural events, such as language table, different kind of quizzes, international dinners, and so on. The next team is the travel team, which organizes different travel events inside Croatia and also outside of it. The next team is the sport team, which organizes different sport events, like volleyball tournaments, hiking trips and visits to different kinds of sports events, like football, volleyball, basketball, ice hockey and handball. We also have the party team, which organizes different events, like parties, karaoke, social drinks and pop crows. Social inclusion team organizes social inclusion events like visits to the children's home, to the dog shelters, and dinner in the dark. Last but not least, there is our PR team, which promotes the image of ESN to the media. We also do videos and we're taking pictures on every ESN event. My name is Anna, I'm an active member of uh, ESN Zagreb. Uh, I'm in ESN since October 2017. I'm a member of Intercultural Exchange Team and Travel Team. I'm really happy because uh, I participate and organize these events for Erasmus students. Uh, what I found really uh, interesting uh, was uh, participating in a national platform of uh, ESN Croatia where I learned a lot about ESN. I met uh, active members from other sections from Croatia and I think it's really great experience uh, to be here and to help uh, students from all around the Europe to feel this is their new home. I find this ESN experience really interesting and I think that I improve my organization skills. Uh, today we had an out of the ordinary Croatian language workshop where we uh, show that uh, Croatian language can be really interesting. Uh, they learn some very basics of Croatian language, how to introduce themselves. So at the end of today's workshop, uh, all participants uh, got a little prize, which was some Croatian, famous Croatian cookies. Hello, I'm Philip from ESN Zagreb. Today we are having a mobility breakfast, unique event. This is kind of a beautiful market and we are sharing information about mobility opportunities in whole Europe, like Erasmus Plus internship, Erasmus Plus study, etc. program, uh, all, on all different kinds of programs for mobility, also, also summer, summer schools, so the people, students from this university can get information about mobility. I'm a member of two teams, Social Erasmus and Intercultural Exchange, and we did uh, a lot of different events. For example, in uh, Social we organized a trip to retirement home, some different workshops with uh, kids in children's home. We also did a lot of different language tables, we visited the parliament. When it comes to my experience in ESN, I think the, the biggest and the most interesting thing about it is when uh, I applied for my master's degree in Finland, they asked me about my experience in ESN 
which was completely... I mean, of course I wrote about Yesen in my CV, but I didn't expect that somebody from university is actually going to ask me about this. So I think this really um, shows how important it is to have some volunteering experience and uh, non-formal education outside of your university. about uh, being an ESN member is the fact that, um, speaking as a former Erasmus student, you're always surrounded by people who have been on Erasmus and who are surrounded by Erasmus students, so they are never tired of listening to your Erasmus stories, like, you know, regular people who are already tired of, of hearing those stories. So, because of all of this, I invite you all to join us on our uh, ESN event. I'm 23 years old, I come from Barcelona in Spain and I study in the Faculty of Law of the University of Zagreb. I'm 23 years old and I'm from the Netherlands and I'm studying law at the University of Zagreb. I'm from Germany, from Munich and I'm 22 years old and here in Zagreb I study economics and business. I'm 25 years old and I came here to study electric engineering at FEF. I actually chose Zagreb for my destination because it was the most different place I could go. Like uh, you had all the typical European countries like Italy, Germany and I've never been to Croatia. So I thought that it would be a different experience for me to come here. I came to Zagreb because actually it was my third choice after Lisbon and Budapest. But I'm really happy to be here and I don't regret it. And why I chose Croatia and Zagreb to do my exchanges was I wanted to do something else like other people uh, in my home university. So I came to Zagreb because not a lot of people choose it. I come from Belgium, it's quite good quality of, of education. So I figured, you know, it will be probably a bit easier here. Actually, I was really surprised by the level of fare. It's very good, high quality, the people help you a lot. I did my thesis here, I had an amazing promoter. has been meeting all the new people and traveling around Croatia. Probably the negative side, I mean, there has not been real negative side, but at the beginning it was minus 15 degrees, so that was too cold for me. I think I know almost all the ESN members here, because I've been to many ESN events and they also have out a lot with us, which is really nice because they always give you helpful tips, help you to get around the city at the beginning. What I like about the place is discovering a new city and all the cities around here. And there are a lot of festivals in Zagreb. The negative is that the Yabun Lake is a bit far away. But I liked all the ESN events, especially at the beginning. They did the billiards night and the speed meeting, in which you were meeting a lot of new people at the same time. What I didn't like in the beginning was my flat, and when I came here, I didn't knew anyone, and it was really hard for me. But especially, I love here that you meet a lot of new people from other cultures and cities and you have the opportunity to visit them all over Europe. What I didn't like was that they offered um, visits to a dog shelter but not to cats. <laughs> because I'm totally a cat person. <laughs> we had this uh, amazing cool groups, we had very nice people and we had this kind of points we all went to meet. There were these strict places that everybody knows where you just go on your own and you know you will meet Erasmus people there so you don't need to always go with other people to make friends. In my home country there is also ESN, they also throw a lot of events and maybe I will come a buddy there next year. Compared to my home country they also do a lot of activities so I think I will join ESN when I come back. To all future Erasmus students really do this exchange, take the opportunity to meet new people. Zagreb is a very nice place, Croatians are amazingly friendly people, we are so close to winning the World Cup, so don't doubt it and just come.
Send moms, your friendship is going to last forever. Memories that you'll always want to remember. And traveling opportunities. But also, professional and personal growth. And it's just amazing how such a small decision in your life can open many doors and challenges to become a better person. What I just wanted to say to all of you is... Yes, it's not going to blow Yes, it's not gonna blow. 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 Your Erasmus starts here.